The following question reads that a positively charged oil droplet falls in air in a uniform electric field that is vertically upwards. So you can see over here, I've made the diagram. This is the positively charged oil droplet. It's falling down uh, mainly because of its weight, which is equal to mg mass into gravity. And the electric field is pointing in the upward direction. The question then states that uh, the droplet has a constant terminal velocity v0 and the electric field strength is E. The magnitude of the force due to air resistance acting on the droplet is proportional to the speed of the droplet. So there is air resistance which is proportional to the speed of the droplet and uh, it's falling with a constant terminal velocity V0. So here's your diagram again uh, falling with a terminal velocity V0. Uh, there is air resistance which is proportional to V0. It's, uh, there's a force that is acting in the upward direction but it's proportional to V0 and uh, the reason it's falling is because of its weight which is pointing downwards. So there are two forces. The electric field is pushing the charge in the upward direction. Uh, the air resistance is also pushing the charge in the upward direction, whereas the gravity is pulling the charge in the downward direction and the end result is that the oil droplet falls with a velocity V0. Now in the question, you're being asked which graph shows the variation uh, with E of V0. Uh, so as the electric field uh, strength increases, how would the velocity V0 of the falling oil charge droplet is going to be affected? Now one thing that you're going to notice about this oil droplet falling is that it's falling with a constant terminal velocity, which means there is no net force. So if net resultant force is equal to zero, the, uh, as you can see in the diagram, there are two forces acting in the upward direction and there's one force acting in the downward direction. So the upward direct directing forces and the downward directing forces, they must be equal. So let's uh, figure out the forces. Let's assume that the charge on the oil droplet is Q. Uh, the formula of electric field is electric field is force per charge, per unit positive charge. So the force, if I make force the subject of the equation, it's going to be uh, the electric field, which is E given as E multiplied by the charge. Then over here, I've already calculated uh, the weight of the oil droplet. Uh, I took mass as M uh, multiplied by gravity. That is going to be, give me the force, the downward force that's acting due to gravity. And then I need to figure out what air resistance is. Uh, so there's a force acting in the upward direction, which is proportional to V0. They told us it's proportional to V0, which means that F is proportional to V0 if I bring in a constant K. So it would be V0 multiplied by a constant K uh, because it's proportional to V0. Uh, the faster the speed, uh, the greater would be the A resistance. Let's call this force Fa, which indicates A resistance. So uh, proportional to V0, F is equal to K times V0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, the two forces, all, uh, I'm going to make the upward and the downward forces equal. Uh, so one force over here is in the upward direction is the electric field that is being multiplied by Q. Uh, then another force in the upward direction is the air resistance, which uh, I've, uh, I've written down as K times V0, uh, where K is a constant. So that's another upward force, that's K times v naught and then the downward force which in this case would be mass into gravity. Now since I want to plot a graph of v naught, I'm going to figure out, uh, I'm going to make v naught the subject of the equation. If I want to make v naught the subject of the equation, uh, I need to, uh, let's keep k v naught over here on the left hand side and everything would go on the other side. So it's going to be a e multiplied by q uh, but this is going to have a minus sign plus mg. Also remember that mg over here is a constant because the mass is not changing and the gravity is not changing. So this is a constant over here. Uh, then making v0 the subject of the equation, I'm going to uh, remove the k from this side and everything is going to be divided by k. Now k was already a constant. So, uh, so this value over here is a constant and the only variables in the equation are your v0 because that's changing and your electric field E. Now this equation can be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus c where uh, it's going to be, uh, let me rearrange this, bring q, q by k is going to be a constant as well because the charge is a constant and k was already a constant. So I've only uh, brought the E on the other side just for clarity so it's going to be, it's going to be mx plus c. So this over here is a constant. 
So that's your C. E is your variable, which is X. They're changing E. Remember, electric field was, was being increased. And M is going to be equal to minus Q over K. What is M in the equation? M is your gradient. So M is the gradient in the equation, which in this case is equal to minus Q over K, which means it has negative gradient. So it's, uh, it's this relationship is that of a straight line, which has a negative gradient. So if we go back and have a look at our options, uh, there's only one straight line which has a negative gradient and that is going to give you option A. Option A is going to be your correct option for this question.